Welcome back to the MLG 5000 Series Grand Final Stunner versus Strictly Business. Mr. X joined by Duffman right there off the start. We saw Hugh just jump into the hill like crazy. He was the one that you want to start off with. I said that during the commercial break. And I mean, you know, for such a young player, he is extremely talented. He's been having a great, great advanced warfare. I mean, when I say advanced warfare, because he, this is kind of that title that he's been blowing up, and we saw him at Advanced Warfare Open, and this kid goes on from Carnage to being the backup sub for FaZe in the Pro League, and uh, gets picked up here by Stunner, and look what this Stunner team has been able to do of Huke, Vex, TJ, Halley, and Perplex. I mean, they've just been able to upset City all over the place with these big-name teams, and right now, the opportunity here in Finals to put on 5,000 Pro points apiece as they get ready for UMG Orlando. Yeah, but you know, uh, right off the start, it's going to be SB coming out pretty hot, and you know the players for them all pretty even. You know, they're nobody really kind of doing all that damage like Fizzerp was on that Detroit hardpoint we saw earlier. You see Nezo, he's going to be trying to push up through this pool area. He's going to take out one. He's going to be taken out, but nope. Stunner able to control this hill, and they're going to take the lead. Fizzerp going to get control of the hill for a second, but not able to hold it long at all. As Dito, he's going to be just kind of taken out now it's going to be perplexed in the hill just holding it down Duff. they are coming Using back that trophy yeah. exo ability is going to keep him alive for the time being here comes one over the wall that's one pickup has help from his teammates and he will continue to hold on to this hill 20 seconds left finally does drop that's neslo and dito coming in and doing the damage and they will hold on to the hill until finally huke comes in with a nice two-piece on his teammate and on neslo and is able to jump into the hill yeah but you know the two players that Know, that we've spectated today that have really you know played extremely well tj haley and fizzer i mean tj haley the, the young base got tj haley i mean he has played <laughs> phenomenal every game we've seen no player that went strictly from respawn i mean strictly from s d sorry into playing respawn he's definitely figured it out and then you know fizzer on the other side i mean he played absolutely out of his mind in that hard point we saw i mean just look at his movement he's on your screen now i mean it is just on another level. He is so fast and his sensitivity is so high. It looks like he's playing like Quake or something like that as he kills another player. And it's going to be asked to be taking the lead. And Fizzer is on a five kill streak, just dominating right now. Make it six. Make it. Oh, oh if he would have went through and killed another, that would have been insane. But just a great run right there from Fizzer. We'll switch on to John here on a two point streak. He's going to find a third kill in a row. Taken out, though, from the side by TJ Halley. Neslo and Dito will be inside the hill for SB as they're starting to build themselves a 20 point lead. Finally, the contest comes in, but John able to hold on to it. John doing big things here. 12 and 9. Relatively quiet for this SB squad since we've seen them play Rise. It was really the Fizzer and Dito show, but John holding his weight here on retreat. Yeah, you know, John, he's a player that kind of, I wouldn't say got forgot about during Ghost, but he really yeah. didn't have a, a huge season during uh, Ghost. He didn't, really have a good, uh, he didn't really have a team necessarily for Ghosts. Right. I mean, and then, you know, in Black Ops 2, though, he was phenomenal. I mean, you oh, know, yeah. he, he actually, I, a lot of people don't remember, but when Impact, uh, when Karma left for Envy, John was the replacement for Karma. So, very mm -hmm. talented player is John. You're going to see Hugh, he's going to be on your screen in the hill. He's going to get taken out, but still the players from uh -oh. Stutter. Winning some gun battles, and they are coming alive a little bit. They are definitely four down there for the moment. Using the EMP grenades is going to be SB, and I love that. In a game type like Hardpoint, EMPs can become a huge factor. This game and your gunfights are one are all about movement, and an EMP completely disables your ability to use your EXO movements um, to boost around, and uh, you can have a better chance winning those gunfights if they have no movement. Absolutely. And you see Stunner, they're going to take the last you know, eight or nine seconds, but uh, I don't know if I agree with that decision. They gave up on this rotation very early. They actually didn't even rotate at all, to be honest, and they're going to have to fight out the front of this hill. You're going to see Perplex. He's going to be able to take it, but it'll be interesting to see if they will get any time on this hill. It's very, very tough gamble to kind of give up that you know, nine seconds to go get this hill, but has to be able to hold mostly control of this hill so far. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any chance they're going to get in here, uh, Stunner, and take it back. Oh, not at all. I'm pushing out the spawns right now. It's going to be John. John finds a two-piece in the courtyard. He'll get taken out, but the hill will continue to remain in the control of Strictly Business. And coming in through the lobby is your guys from Stunner. They're just not going to be able to do too much about it. 14 seconds left. They might want to, I mean, just necessarily give up, but start the rotation to the next hill because of how late they were to get to this one. You saw how easily SB held on to it literally the entire time. 
Yeah, well, you know, the next hill is the middle hill, and it's not one that you can really get a ton of time or rotate early. I think you're better off rotating earlier from that, you know, second to last hill, and then oh, yeah. jump in there, and then take tons of time there, and then kind of just play contest on this middle one. Because you also, by getting the spawns for that last hill, hold the spawns for the second hill, which is that turtle statue, which is extremely important. Continue to see the use of EMPs here from SB, and it's just working so well for them. Able to break these hills very easily, winning those gunfights very easily as well. I'm on through the eyes of Perplex here for Stunner. 22 and 16, lead Slayer for the squad right now. Three players in the middle of the hill here. You can see the EMP come in, and he just gets removed immediately. Huk trying to stay alive in here. The young god, Huk, he goes down as well. SB clearing house here. 15 seconds left off of the restart of Hills. The re-rotation begins back-to-back -back statue here in nine seconds. Yeah, and it's kind of the same story that you know, uh, Stunner's going to take the last few seconds as SB is going to rotate early. And it's just going to, you know, it's going to hurt Stunner, I think, in the end, unless they can win a lot of these crucial gun battles. Here we go. Fizzer has a little help there from inside of the hill. Contest here from Stunner. He does find one. Does he find two? He does find two. Fizzer with a nice two-piece. Able to hold on to the hill here for strictly business. Fizz now 24 and 19. Playing so consistently in the respawn today. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, his shot is on point as well. And you know, when we were in uh, that kind of long break waiting for uh, Stunner to finish their match, you know, I was talking to Nezu a little bit. He was sending me some messages and you know, they were talking about like movement. And, you know, I said, you know, I thought Fizzer was crushing. And he, he said he thought Fizzer was the most underrated player in Advanced Warfare right now. And uh, to be honest, uh, we really didn't talk about Fizzer much until today uh, with That's Advanced Warfare. True. It's really the... It's really the first time I'm seeing him play, and you know, uh, Nezlo might be right. He is a very good player in advance. His warfare. movement is just flawless. When you look at the way he engages gunfights, he pre-aims doors and pre-fires doors. It's absolutely amazing. I think a lot of really, a lot of the reason we thought he was kind of we underrated him was kind of you know, Fizzer as an S and D player. You know, him as an S and D god goes. He kind of struggled with organizations um, and placings, and but you knew him for playing S and D tournaments and doing well with them. Some of the top named teams and players, and that's how you kind of knew him. In the respawn, you didn't know him. And now, Vizzer's making a name for himself in all game types here in Advanced Warfare. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's played phenomenal throughout uh, Advanced Warfare. And I, I think even Ghost, you know, he had a, a few great events. I think uh, during X Games, he was very good. Uh, right. I think uh, he played absolutely great during that weekend. But they never really get anything going, uh, you know, really at those, some of the bigger events during the year. But you're actually going to see it's going to be Stunner controlling this hill. Huke's going to pick up one. He's going to be taken out. It's going to be TJ Haley left in the hill alone. He is going to drop. It's going to be SP that gets control of this. You know, if Stunner wants to come back, they got to start rotating now. They can't just keep feeding the hill. Here comes the rotation early, though. Two bottom bar where the next hill is from your guys on SB, but there is going to be perplexed. Making the trade is Nezlo. Nezlo will be the first to rotate. He has Huke down at the bottom. Cleans up. Huke has one to his left. Two to his left. Finds one into the bar. Can he get two? Has the help. The entire kill feed dominated by Strictly Business. It's your bottom left-hand corner, and they took complete control of that hill. A minute 30 left, and they've crossed that 200 mark. It just looks like SB is going to run away with this. Yeah, SB is really starting to control this game. This Thunder just could not get those rotations down. They really struggled on you. Know, this one coming towards this hard point right here, and then the, the, in the first rotation of Hills going from this hard point to the next one. That's really where they struggled, and they lost a ton of, you know, uh, probable time. I mean, you, you can't guarantee they would have gotten a lot of time on them, but you know, more than they would have gotten. And I think, you know, they, they played for garbage time and ended up giving up you know, good chunks of time on Hills. You know you can hold easily. Rotation will begin here. Three seconds left in this final hill, and leading the rotation is going to be Fizzer, who's now 34 and 26. John, 38 and 30. Neslo, 33 and 26. Dito positive plus two. All of SB going insanely positive across the way. Perplexed, the only one to do it plus two right now. Yeah, I mean, everybody from SB really just kind of shredding. I mean, look at those stats. Fizzer, 35 and 26. Make it 36 and 26. Neslo, 33 and 28. John 39 and 32, and Dito 34 and 30. I mean, everybody going positive, everybody above 30 kills. I mean, just a great overall performance from Strictly Business as they are going to take the first map against Stutter in a pretty commanding fashion, if you you say so, Duff. Oh, 100%. There's no other way to put it. I, I thought this was going to be a closer game, but... Uh... 
you know, just running shy of hitting 250 is SB, and they're going to run into the half. 40 bomb dropped for John, I believe it was, uh, for SB. And that, like like I said, you know, during the, the past series, we saw SB versus Rise. We didn't see a whole lot of John. It was all Fizzer, but it was all Dito. And John lighting it up here with the slang. Everybody going positive for this team of Strictly Business. And they're looking yeah. good as we head into S&D next, which is going to be on Solar. Yeah, I mean, everybody playing very well from Strictly Business. And you know, going into that uh, second map, S&D, they're going to be, uh, I would say they're going to be favored in that map. So when we come back from this quick commercial break, we will have S&D Solar SB against Thunder Grand Finals. Stay tuned, guys.